Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to the channel. I am Tanisha Davis. This is Fun and Budget, where we talk about all of the things adulting, honestly adulting, especially finances, especially money, especially budgets, especially the price, the cost to be the boss. That's what we talk about, okay? We try to keep it super transparent over here. And in this video, we are gonna go over our June budget. This is what I plan on doing for the month of June, which also happens to be my birthday month. My birthday is June 2nd, y'all. And honestly, I ain't got no plans. I ain't got no plans, but we'll talk about more about that in another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about this good budget, okay? So, let's get into it. Here is my financial plan because I do believe, I do believe you should have an idea of what you plan on doing with your finances for the month. I do. I think it helps navigate you. It helps steer you. It helps get you focused in on whatever your financial goals may be. Or if you can even afford to take on a thing or do a thing or if you should be cutting back on a thing, okay? So for the month of June, I plan on bringing in fourteen thousand four hundred and eighty eight dollars this is after all payroll deductions this is where I expect to hit my bank account and what I plan on doing with that money is the following one hundred and five dollars is gonna go to the HOA eighty eight dollars the gas bill a hundred and eighty seven dollars the electricity bill and two hundred and twenty two dollars the cell phone bill and that is for three phones as well as a phone that I'm paying off and at no interest, at no extra cost. It's just, it's just a strategy. It's a strategy. $85 for the internet, $54 is the security system, and $135 is for the lawn, $175 is for housekeeping, $337 is for the insurance and that is a little lower than it normally is and that is because I did get rid of one of my cars by gifting it to my nephew and of course I y'all I am not paying insurance for a teenager driving we ain't doing that right there but his mama got it his mom is paying the insurance on that car and everything has been legally transferred over and so that car is now is no longer in my name and so I shouldn't have to pay taxes on that but I believe there's something that I have to do because I did just get another tax bill so I believe I have to let the powers that be know that this car is no longer mine stop charging me taxes for it okay so 337 is now for the insurance for my car as well as somebody else's insurance that I pay as well as the insurance on my primary home okay $30 is being set aside for Easy Pass. $50 is being set aside for the rental electricity bill. And for those of you who notice that I'm in a different environment, this is my rental home. Actually, it's going to be my property that I'm going to be selling soon. Come, hopefully. We're still working on it. That's why I'm here right now, um, working to get some things done around this house. And hopefully, 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 it's going to be finish it's going to be complete and we can get this baby on the market forty three dollars is for subscriptions and the subscriptions i have are netflix youtube premium and vid iq food household miscellaneous and fun miscellaneous are blank because i do what i call mindful spending i just try to be super mindful about what i am buying when i'm when i'm buying it and do i really need to buy it am i buying this out of i either want it which is okay it's okay to want things or i need it which we got to do or maybe i'm just in an emotionally sunken place and i'm just spending money because I normally don't reach those that level but again it's good to be aware of why you're doing what you're doing and if there's something else you can do instead even delayed gratification I'm a big fan of delayed gratification so even with things that I want I will write it down on a list of things that I want and usually I'll wait to the end of the month see what my money is doing at the end of the month and then I will di pull the trigger and make those purchases nails $80 Lashes, $115. And then we're going to be responsible by sending $1,580 to the 401k. And we're going to do $200 to the HOA. And those amounts right there will max out those two things for this year. Not right now. I mean, 
doing this every month for the rest of the year will eventually max out those two things my 401k and my HOA my health my my HOA oh I put HOA it's HSA my health spending account or health savings account savings three thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars mortgage will be one thousand five hundred and thirty six dollars and then I will be sending an extra four thousand five hundred dollars to the mortgage because it is my long-term goal my ultimate dream for now for now we keep the dream going it is my dream to actually pay off my main home sooner rather than later because it's gonna be so awesome when no money except for property taxes and except for insurance is going to that mortgage I cannot wait I cannot wait and honestly I'm kind of making that my 50 year present to myself when I turn 50 that's gonna be my present to myself that I'm gonna have a paid off house honestly I'm probably gonna pay it off way before I'm 50 well I'm turning 46 in a few days so way before it's subjective but before I'm 50 <laughs> but right now the idea of doing it by the time I'm 50 feels good because it's not so much of a stretch that I can't do it under my own manpower but if supernatural forces jump in come through God come through it will be paid off before I'm 50 but until then isn't that a pretty cool 50 year old 50 birthday 50 year birthday gift I think it is okay and then seven hundred and ten dollars I'm setting aside for gift giving um when that is all said and done I actually have one thousand and eighty one dollars remaining and with that one thousand eighty one dollars what happens with that money is it takes care of the food it takes care of household miscellaneous it takes care of fun miscellaneous and it may take care of any other little odds and ends that pop up during the month so I have some wiggle room I have some flexibility at the end of the month my goal is obviously not to spend all that money if I don't have to and whatever's not spent gets to be applied toward my long-term goals of either paying off my house adding more money to the extra to the mortgage or beefing up my savings account even more so that is what I plan on doing for my birthday month of June yeah yeah I don't have any plans for my birthday so nothing no extra money is set aside for my birthday and I'm so cool with that simply because I've been doing great things amazing things I just got back from Amsterdam and I really don't have this need right now to feel like I want more I'm good I'm good I'm resting I'm resting for the month of June and July I'm resting y'all I'm resting so thank y'all for being here until the next video let there always 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 be peace oh let me show y'all let me show y'all what I bought me for my birthday honestly I said I don't, I'm not in the mood to really do anything so I did buy myself some birthday presents this is what I bought myself Bam! This jigsaw puzzle is only 550 pieces. I don't know how I feel about that because I normally like at least a thousand piece puzzle. But this one is cute. I love a puzzle that is interesting. Y'all do puzzles? Y'all do puzzles? What do y'all look for in a puzzle? I look for interesting. I look for enough variety that you know you're not stuck trying to put together a black sky for half the puzzle or blue sky white clouds for half the puzzle I look for a lot of things going on and this looks like a lot of things going on okay but just in case 550 is too easy because it's my birthday I got myself another puzzle BAM 1500 pieces 1500 pieces look at that that looks interesting enough there is a puzzle brand that I really like but I cannot find anymore Walmart used to sell them or what was it Target? It might have been Target. It was Target because I remember back in the day I was a Walmart, Walmart snob and I never would go to Walmart. So it was definitely Target. But they don't sell it no more. But that puzzle was so interesting. I'm going to put a, a picture of what that puzzle brand was. But yeah, y'all like puzzles? I almost didn't buy a puzzle because it takes time. It takes up time and I really... I be having so much to do. I was like, do I even have time? Should I even be spending time doing a puzzle? But I'm like, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. So not only can I play phone app games, 
watch all the YouTube videos and watch all the Netflix and Amazon Prime movies, I can also do puzzles. <laughs> yeah.